Hi, it's Laura Wilson here from eyebrowboost.com and various other websites. I am recording this little video as a short video review of Ravi Jayagopal's Digital Access Pass. Now, okay, what's that? Well, it's basically a membership site plugin. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is that we're now in, we're now in February 2011 when I'm recording this. Um, but back in December, I spent about literally, and I'm not kidding here, I spent two weeks solidly researching, kind of going back and forth, um, looking around at different membership site plugins for WordPress. Because basically I've got a number of websites, iBrandBoost.com, AlkalineDietHealthTips.com and I'm in the middle of product launches so what I wanted to do was launch my products on the front end and then house all my product content on the back end. Now I originally installed Wishlist Member, I purchased Wishlist Member and, um, and installed that as a, no, just to clarify, this, we're talking about WordPress here. Um, obviously in this day and age then we need to be using WordPress as our website platform. If you didn't know that then I'm telling you use WordPress. It's best for search engine optimization, ease of use, um, functionality, aesthetics, plugins, etc etc. You know don't take my word for it, look around. But I'm using or I'm going on the premise that we're using WordPress. Yeah. So I originally installed Wishlist Member and started using that as my membership software and I thought this is easy to use, it's um, got good functionality and so I was kind of building my membership site using Wishlist. However, I stumbled across a number of problems. Number one is that you cannot drip feed content in the, in the way that I wanted to and I know a lot of other people want, want to be able to do. Um, with Wishlist because basically I wanted to sell a product so someone buys my product that say 90 we're talking right let's use an example my recent um, launch was Alkaline Diet Vitality and the core product was $97 and then I wanted to have um, a recurring product at $17 a month that members also um, had access to so what this meant was that I needed to be able to set up this one core product and then have each um, each month for wishlist member to drip feed the seventeen dollar a month interview series and whatever else they got over the over the course of the month. But this was a problem because the way wishlist is set up, you need to. Um, you need to set up different products and it just wouldn't it just didn't have this drip feed functionality basically you needed to either set up a product as say month one month two month three or um, as kind of different levels of memberships to so say gold silver platinum well I had gold silver and platinum um, core products so one at 97 a down sell at 47 and a down down sell at 27 dollars but on each of those, I wanted this monthly recurring membership site as well. You just couldn't do it in Wishlist. In order to do that, you would have had to set up, I don't know, like loads of different variables of the same products. And it just got way too complicated. And I thought, like, you know, my product at the time, you know, the first product that I'm launching using Wishlist was relatively simple. But looking to the future, I'm thinking, you know, I want to be able to have lots of different levels of memberships, upsells down sales and I just thought this is going to cause problems in the longer term. So I took the decision to abandon Wishlist and set about um, looking for an alternative solution and as I said at the beginning of this video I literally spent weeks like two to three weeks searching around and I looked at Nanocast, I looked at Premium Webcart, I looked at Kajabi, I looked at Magic Members, I looked at Digital Access Pass. Now, of all of those, they've all got their advantages, they've all got their disadvantages, but I settled with Digital Access Pass. And I'll tell you why. Now, I will probably do maybe a more detailed review of the others because they've all got their place and they're all pretty good. Um, you know, Wishlist, on the face of it, Wishlist has got fantastic marketing, I'll give them that. 
they know how to promote their product and everyone kind of talks on about wishlist member um, and a member but wish list of you know there's just too many big faults like the one I just outlined um, magic members is good nanocast is good premium web cart is good Kajabi is good but they're all very expensive um, bar magic members are not exp that expensive but the functionality is not as good um, but all of those, all the others, we're talking about roughly $97 a month for all these things. And they're big, they've all, well, they've got big flaws, they've got big functions, but big flaws as well. For example, Kajabi, you host all of your content on their site. So say you don't want to pay $97 anymore per month, then as soon as you cut your membership, that's it. All your stuff, you have to rehouse it somewhere else. You know, that would be a real pain. Um, what else? Uh, Nanocast, quite quite tricky to set up. Premium Webcart, again, I tr you know I trialed that for a month, had a look around, explored, uploading some content. Tricky, a lot of HTML. Um, again, similar to Kajabi, a lot of it has to be housed on their site, or if you try and integrate it with your site, it's a bit difficult. Now, I will say that the support for uh, Nanocast. And premium web cart are very good. Kajabi looks stunning. Um, and as you know, it's got great functionality, but there are some big flaws. So bringing this all together, what I what I concluded was that digital access pass was the best way to go. Because, right, this is what I can do. You it's got a built-in affiliate module, number one. So you can set up for every product you you set up within your membership site you can assign an affiliate scheme to it. Mention the drip feed feature, Laura. Now, you can have, and this is multiple tiers as well, so you can have two tiers, three tiers. So basically, I'm an affiliate. Say I'm an affiliate and I get 50% commission on any product sold. Also, if there's a two-tier affiliate system, that means that any affiliates I recruit under my affiliate link I will get, say, 5%. So then if my affiliates under me sign up and um, sell the product, I get a recurring or I get a commission based on what they've sold as well. So it's got a two-tier affiliate system. It's very robust, very thorough. Mention drip feed. Um, it automatically generates affiliate links. When someone buys your product and becomes a new member to your membership site with Digital Access Pass, they automatically are given an affiliate link. So rather than having to actively have people sign up to your affiliate link, um, existing members are automatically given it. So it's like signing up to, say, ClickBank and automatically being given hop links, affiliate links for every, you know, every product you buy, which is quite amazing because it, you know, it's quite an aggressive form of recruiting affiliates if you like you know which is 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 good you know help your sales okay so it's got a good affiliate module but mention the drip feed it's got a good drip feed feature too um the back end system is easy to set up you know I'm, i mean i'm quite tech savvy but i didn't find it too difficult at all and what's more important is that the support with digital access pass is absolutely second to none ravi jay gopal and his wife can't remember her name, um, Vina, Vina, I think, um, they're basically the masterminds behind this, and their support is fantastic, they answer emails really quickly, they're always on hand to help you, um, and what's more, the reason that attracted me ultimately to Digital Access Pass is that they're always adding updates, they're always adding new features, since I bought it, you know, like less than a couple of months ago now, there's been two new updates with major additions, like the, the multiple tier affiliate system, um what else um the ability to do dime sales and add coupons so basically if you're selling a product say you sell it for 97 dollars, but you want to offer a holiday special you can add a, a like a coupon code for some, when someone buys your product for 20 dollars off or you can do a dime sale whereby um the first 10 people get it at 20 dollars. the next 20 people get it at 40 dollars, and it registers this and automatically updates your price so it's got a lot of great functionality. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than a lot of the other things I mentioned. It's a one-time fee only. So you buy the software, you install it on your own site. So all of your content is housed on your own site. So if you want to sell your site, if you want to stop using it or whatever, there's no recurring fees. It's all on your own site. So you own it all. You're in control. 
It's a one-time fee of, I think, $297 across an unlimited site. So you know, I'm in the process of now setting up my second membership site using Digital Access Pass. When you, when you set up your site for the first time with DAP, you know, like any new thing, there's a little bit of a learning curve. But once you get it, it's really very easy. And certainly if you come to do it a second time with a second site or if you want to go in and update, add new products in your existing site, it's easy. It really is pretty easy. Um, so I'm just trying to think what else to say. Mention the drip feed. That's where you bought it. I mean, there's, there's so many features about Digital Access Pass, but I would highly, 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 highly recommend it if you're looking to set up a membership site. And I'm just going to say this straight out of the box. Forget wish list, forget a member, use Digital Access Pass. Um, trust me, I, I literally spent two or three weeks, two to three weeks, searching around, testing out. I trialed premium web car. I, I set up a whole site with wish list before I abandoned it. Um, I looked at Magic members, I looked at Kajabi, I trialled Kajabi, I looked at Nanacast, um, One Shopping Cart, whew, a whole load of others, um, and I conclude that Digital Access Pass is by far the best. So that's what I would recommend. So I just wanted to do this because, um, you know, save you a bit of time and research um, and, you know, to give you my advice on this. So I hope it's been helpful. And uh, oh, and the other thing I would say is use Digital Access Pass with Optimized Press, the WordPress theme. Um, so what you can do is Optimized Press. You do your launch, your product launch on the front end with Optimized Press, and you create your back end membership site with Optimized Press as a theme, and then you add the security features and the drip feed. Yay! You mentioned it's got drip feed in the, um, you know logistics of adding members and taking payments or whatever with digital access pass and i would say that, that combo is just a complete internet marketing marriage made in heaven um, and it's all very cheap you can get the whole lot for less than 400 dollars, which is an absolute steal compared to kajabi you know kajabi say 97 dollars a month for a basic and that's just for like one or two sites i think so if you wanted more than that you'd be paying more but um, so what's that? Twelve that you're looking at, you know, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars a year. This is four hundred dollars. Full stop. So optimized press theme. James Dyson's optimized press, paired with digital access pass. And I would just say go with using PayPal as your payment processor on the back end if your site's simple. Obviously, if you're selling lots of sites, an e-commerce site, you'll need like authorized.net and a merchant account. But we won't get into that in this video. Anyway, so that's my recommendation to you. Hope it's been helpful. Speak to you again soon. It's Laura Wilson. Bye-bye for now.